Have you ever asked yourself, why me? Why is this happening to me? Why do I have to go down this road again? Why am I struggling financially again or with an addiction again or with a health issue again? Why is my partner constantly putting me down? Why do all my partners put me down? Why are my family members doing what they do? Why me? Hi, I'm David Essel. It's a valid question. I think in life, a lot of times we get stumped of how can I be going down this path again? Why is life so unfair, right? But there's going to be a different approach I'm going to take today. I don't think why me is bad, but I also think that people should give ourselves a certain period of time to ask that question. What should that period of time be? Well, maybe it should be 30 days or maybe 60 days, but I think there's got to be a time limit. And then, of course, the way out of it is to let go of the why me and to start focusing on what are you going to do differently to change your life now? I remember reading an article about a playwright in New York City. I forget his name, but he brought Elephant Man from England into New York onto Broadway, became a huge hit. Uh, one day when he was renting a home, I believe it was in Long Island, he jumped into the pool and didn't do what he was supposed to do, hit his head on the bottom, became paralyzed for life. They said in the story that for the first year he was despondent, depressed, suicidal, and he kept saying, why me? Why is this happening to me? How could this happen to me? I've got so much to offer this world. Why me? And they said at the end of the year, he finally came to the conclusion that why me was wasted effort and energy. The reality is, here I am now. What am I going to do about it? The good news, he went on to produce more really awesome plays. How about you? Is it time to let go of that why me? Why is this happening to me? Why am I attracting idiots into my life? Why am I mistreated? Why, why, why? Let's stop the why me. Give yourself a period of time to ask it, to write about it especially. You might find some answers of why you're back in the current situation you're in. Then we need to make the next move, and that is to work with someone to figure out what do I need to do to change this pattern in life. I know you can do it. You're probably going to have to get help from someone outside of you, but I know you can do it. Drop the why me, then say what's next. What do I need to do to change my life, okay? Hey, don't forget to sign up for this YouTube channel, absolutely free. If you want to work with me, all of my work for 25 years is 100% money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whatsoever. And don't forget to pick up the number one best-selling book, our brand new book, Get Chapter One for Free at TalkDavid.com, okay? That will start to inspire you too. I hope you have an awesome day. I'm David Essel.